Aloha. Hello. I'm TQ. I'm JQ. We're the Q Brothers. And this is Small Flower TV. 2013 Sun Care. Uh, let's talk about it. The sun's out right now. I'm about to go play some softball. This is an episode that we just realized kind of we have to do this every year. Yeah. Because new technology comes out and new products come out. Yeah. And we, well, we don't leave off some of the old ones, older ones that we liked. We're going to keep reviewing them. Well, and also, I mean, we are, we're not taking every single thing we have. No, no, no. no. But we're but picking up some I mean, of the best selling yeah. ones. Uh, so we're going to do our picks every year. And this yeah. is our 2013 selection. <clears throat> correct. Correct. Um, so, <clears throat> you'll, the first one we're going to go through is, and these are the ones that we have, you want to just talk in front of every one minute about sunscreen and our philosophy a little bit. Yeah, although I just noticed this one doesn't, that's why I was looking at this one doesn't I know, she follow said, the I know, I know. But that's interesting. Okay, so our, our philosophy and the philosophy of many people out there, it's not ours, we didn't invent it, but the one we uh, subscribe to is that um, <clears throat> it is better to use minerals to achieve your sun protection rather than chemical sunscreens. And they work a little differently. Jay, you want to break it down, the so quick a version? A mineral sunscreen is an actual physical block between you and the sun. So, so it's, it's leaving a film there. And it's bouncing the rays blocking off. the rays, the UV rays, UV rays <clears throat> uh, from entering your skin, you know? And, and, the, <clears throat> and the chemical sunscreens are actually absorbed into the body. Yeah. And right. they... Yeah, well, they're, they're, I think they're still on the skin, but what they do is they actually are not a block. They alter the way that the UV rays, they sort of Except disrupt the, the, disrupt the, the way the UV rays affect the skin. Cool. So it's actually not a physical barrier between the sun and yourself, but it's sort of like changing the chemistry of what the sun does to your skin, right? So those two things, that's the difference. Now that alone, I don't know, is is a, a bad thing or a good thing, it's just the way they work. But ultimately, we tend to favor, and you'll see today, uh, sunscreens that are mineral protection because those sunscreens that are chemical protection, which is just about everything you buy at every mainstream store, all the brands you know uh, from, you know, as a kid and growing up, those all have neurotoxic issues or other issues with using them that are not really talked about, but if you go on something like the Environmental Working Group or some of these other rating services, you'll see, they'll explain okay. what eating, Environmental Working Group is the standard for sunscreens, and they'll explain <clears throat> what each ingredient does and why it's rated more or less toxic. So we tend to stick with things on the low end of the toxin one scale. One, two to three range. Yeah, I mean, zero, one, two is usually our goal. Yeah. I don't think there are too many zeros just because you're putting something on your skin, but. The bottom line is you're putting, you stick with benign uh, ingredients and minerals and like zinc. That has been working for yeah. ever. Yeah, you know? exactly. <clears throat> but, like when you were at the pool in the 50s, remember when you were there? Yeah. And you had to have a big zinc on your nose? Yeah, right uh, before I did the, the, the twist, twist. Yeah. yeah, out on the beach, yes. Yeah, because we, cause we went to the sock hop that night. Well, yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to burn nose when you got to the sock hop. <laughs> That wouldn't be great. So, um, <clears throat> zinc. Badger makes um, Badger is one of our favorite of like brands. our classic brand. Like if you got kids and I want something for me and my kids, like this is the one we recommend. End up recommending probably the most. You know? Yeah, it's a good, affordable brand. It works for everyone. It's really nice. They have now broken into three different versions. So there is active. Um, which is their original. Yeah, it's sort of like if you want a good sturdy sun, sun uh, protection in a cream form, it's a little bit thick, you've got to work to work it in. And remember that guys, when you're using mineral sunscreens, we're going to try some that are less like this, but in general, because it is a physical barrier, you have to work a little harder. It's usually a little thicker, sometimes it has whiteness until you rub it away, and that's the issue. So why don't we give, the, should we give one of these a try? Let's try the sport one, how to compare them. The sport, yeah. now the sport is, the, the, the ratio is was like 18, 19% of zinc, and the sport is 22.5%. So, you so know, this is for people who don't care, and it's supposed to leave you one. Yeah, this is, right? this is essentially for the person who's going, like I'm running the triathlon, or I'm going to be out running today in the sun, I'm going to go to the beach for four hours with my kids, and I want like, my kids I'm going to be a little bit blue. Yeah, yeah you're going to, you got, you got some residue there. 
It's still not that no, bad. No, it's not that bad. Yeah, that's still but I mean, like, I put on a decent amount, and I can see there's a little ghostliness to my skin. But the bottom line is, you have serious protection, 80 minutes rated of waterproof protection. I mean, that's awesome. So when you're sending your kids into the lake in Chicago or the <clears> pool, <throat> whatever it is, this is the way to go, I think, is something thick that's going to last. So then, they, you know, I think the complaint against Badger, even in their regular version, was always that it is a little thicker than maybe your average adult wanted to use for casual sunscreen use. Right, and so that's why they came out with this one this year, <coughs> which is the daily, and it's in a lotion. Yeah. It's only a 12%, yeah. I think, um, but this still has SPF 30, but not, no, you see yeah, yeah. This one is lotion spread super easily, and look, it's gone instantly. I mean, you know, it's not that you won't see some trace of whiteness if you suspect it, but no, in general, no, you can't tell that I put anything on and it took nothing to wipe it away. And so this is not for like, I'm going to the beach today. This is for, I'm going out and walking to the store. You know what I mean? Did yeah, or, or I mean, you can decide that might be enough for the beach if well, you're just going to go, like, yeah. you know, if you're going to go sit out for 20 minutes at the beach or you're going to sit out and, and not get wet. This is not designed for like waterproof protection. This is, hey, it'll stay on, it'll protect you, but it's easy to put on and probably more casual use. I'm going to the picnic to visit my friends and I'm not going to be like laying in the sun, but I'm or like ball game and I have a hat on too. Exactly. You know what I mean? This is like the ball game one. Yeah. yeah. I like it a lot. Um, I'm excited. They did a great job, Badger, on that. Yeah. It was, I was hoping <clears throat> it would come with one that was less the cream like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so here's, so this kind of falls into the realm of the things that we wouldn't like. So this is all about, they make some mineral sunscreens. And they make, they tend to use a lot of natural ingredients. Michelle picked this because she thought people would want to see one in a spray. That's this right. isn't a spray. That's the benefit of the chemical sunscreens. Is, is it's so easier to keep it's thin. Spray. You can spray it, but you have uh, right, give me a little bit right there. homosalate, octo, ethyl axyl, salicylate, butyl, methyl oxo, something like that. Oops. Here we go. But, you know, it would be nice if they would just use some, to could develop a... Well, I mean, you're, the, the thing is, see, that, yeah, that goes in like... Like nutta. Like nutta. Yeah, like butter. It's like butter, baby. Not no parquet, not no margarine. Yeah, I strictly butter. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so... So, good luck with those toxins. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, keys care. Maybe uh, one of the first mineral sunscreens that we carry that really hit it big. Um, now this one is a little different too. Um, this one, you'll see all these other ones will claim non-nano, and that's like a big deal. So this is like another debate within even mineral sunscreens, mm -hmm. is whether to use nano zinc or not. Yeah. Because this is- The idea that nano particles are not studied enough and they cross the brain blood barrier. Yeah, blood brain um, barrier. I, well, I think of my brain first. So does garlic, by the way. Did you know that? I did. So when you eat garlic, it's, like it's literally on your brain. You got garlic on your brain. Yeah. Well, don't they say you can put lavender on your feet, your oil on your feet, and in three seconds, they can detect activity in your brain yeah. related to lavender. It's crazy. Um, anyway, this one goes in quite nicely. I would say the benefit of the nano is that the white you disappears get that instantly. Lovely, yeah. Because it's so such tiny particles. Um, this so good lime luck with is those particles in your blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, toxin blood. Um, this is a. Uh, this is developed by uh, a couple. Uh, the wife by the, the wife had uh, skin cancer, and he needed a line of pure products. So I really love their ingredients. Nano issue aside. I think it really... I also got to say, like, um, they, all of their products are great. It, they make great face creams. They yeah. make great um, healing ointments for skin issues I've had and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And this is like, um, this one I've noticed, is a little, it does get hit or miss. Some people say, I put it on, I put on the recommended amount, and I still got burnt. And other people say nothing has worked better for yeah. me. So I think maybe that is because... We don't know how people react to the, to the yeah, nano zinc. No, I don't, I don't think that's it. I think that has to do more with proper amount of usage. I mean, like using enough. And they say that regardless of the type you use, we read the study, like the number one problem is not like, oh, it's 30 and I need 45. You don't. 30 is enough for just about everyone. 
like this. But the issue is most people put in like put on like one fifth of the amount of sunscreen yeah. that you need. So you know what? Don't be stingy. One tube. If you're outside all the time, it should last times. you the whole summer. Like you need to, you know what I mean? For this that. is like four uses. So if you're going out every day or you're out all, all the time, you better load up on some sunscreen and use it. That's the real protection against skin cancer, against UV rays. Yeah. Use enough. That's not just to sell more. That's just, it's just good advice. It's a glass worth. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing. Yeah. And it's a lot, actually. Yeah. That's a real, that's a lot for most people. Let's talk about Kula, JJ. Um, Kula. I, I love Kula. It's more expensive, but they seem to have mastered the something it's the, so the way it spreads on and the size of the particles it's non nano also but it seems to spread on more easily than just about any sunscreen i've ever seen so it's maybe it's a mix of because of the mix of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide i don't know but i just really like it um so let's try it. This one is actually we, great. They also make chemical sunscreens. We don't care. We don't care the chemical sunscreen. So don't assume. Look at the ingredients. But we this one is actually really liked by a lot of women because this, this is, is this is tinted. So you can use it as like a day moisturizer and um, base. as a base in your makeup with your makeup or whatever. And it just spreads so easily. I don't know anyone who hasn't enjoyed the feeling of putting on Kula for well, sunscreen. Because it feels like. It's they, not they have yeah. this like this element that almost feels powder like to it. Yeah. And these are there is one, the, the matte, matte one. the matte finished cucumber, it's ridiculous. You put it on and it instantly turns to powder on your face. It's so dry going on, it feels great, even though it is a lotion. I really love it. So yeah, that, this is good. Really, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, it's amazing. The and that's tinted, you can't yeah. like no it, it sinks in nicely. I really love it. That was awesome. And then here's their, this is their new line of plant UV sunscreen. I never tried this, have you tried it? No, I haven't tried it. To moisturize and soften the skin. And it, the active ingredient is 12.6% zinc oxide. So let's check this out. I'm excited about it. Give me a little. Sorry if it's a little too much, but I'm gonna see what happens when you put yeah. it off on. I did. This way. How's it going in? It's pretty blue. Not for me. It's sinking in. Smells minerally, doesn't have a lot of smell, but again, they're not, the goal is not to get, they're not making a fragrance one. I, I'm looking good. I don't know about you. I can't tell. I look a little blue. But, it's mineral it's sunshine. Not bad. Not bad. And, I, you know, again, I would go, if your face is your goal. It's a little stickier yeah. than the other ones are. Yeah, the plant UV, I yeah. agree. Then the other Kula. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But. I, it's interesting. I'm going to try it this summer. I think like that, you know, some of the anti-inflammatory stuff they're talking about sounds pretty interesting. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Either way, get yourself some sunscreen. It's getting hot out there. It's getting bright. Protect yourself. Skin cancer is nasty. Premature aging, not that attractive. Um, I'm into it, but burns me. <laughs> burning, not a good look when you go out to the club. Not weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> See ya.